Hi guys, today I have a video for you. Today I'm going to make a video about relays, automotive relays. Uh, many times technicians bring, especially mechanics, they don't have much knowledge about auto electricians, so they troubleshoot the problem on the vehicle, they suspect this relay is bad or that relay. So what they do, they bring the relay for me to test it. So I think I'm going to make a video today on how I test relay. A very simple way that mechanics can follow. I mean, it's straightforward, it's easy, my way of doing it. I'm going to do it two ways. I'm going to do it by using a test lamp and I'm also going to use it, do it using the multimeter. Now, some, most vehicles have relay with five pins. Some look like this. One, two, three, then four, five. Some has four pin. One, two, three, four. Some has five again. Different kind of relay with different shape, different style. Five pins again. Here's another one with five pins. Now, the ones that give technicians a hard time or the mechanics a hard time, it's the five pin relay so I think I'm gonna make this video to show you how and how it really works um, not in the, the professional way where you have to read a documentation but looking at the relay and using your multimeter you should be able to figure out what's going on because some relay comes with a diagram. Like for example, this one with the four pin. It has a diagram that actually shows you which pin is the coil that you're going to put the current to, which two pin does the, the opening and closing, right? But some does not have any. They just have a number. And I mean, it will be so much trouble. You have to go through to Google this relay number and find out which pin is what and, you know, this pin has numbers at the bottom but for this video we're going to ignore the numbers we're going to just test the relay like for someone who has no knowledge about what a relay does or how it works or how to test the relay I'm just going to try to bring you up to speed help you to understand how to identify the coil from the, the contact pins all right so we look at the first relay the four pin is a very simple relay it has two pin to transfer the, 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 the signal or the current or the voltage and it has two pins that when these pins are energized the relay will close in the off state the relay is open as soon as power hits two pin the relay closes the contact and then you have continuity on the other two pins now I already have a 12 volt setup so I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about so how you would identify for example this four pin relay let's say you have a four pin relay looking like this how you would identify which is the coil and which is the, the two contacts well from all the experience I got testing these relays, right? Looking at them, most of the time, the coil would be the two tiniest pin or the two smallest pins. And they would most likely be facing each other. That's in a four pin relay, right? For example, you see we have two little ones and we have two big ones, right? So I would say these two as for the coil, and these two is for the current transfer. So let's test that with the multi tester. So I have my test on ohms, and I will put it across the two small pins. And there I have uh, they have 98, 98.1, let's say 98 ohms. Let's try the other two. This should be open. 
and there you see open so we have to think that you know, these two belongs to the coil so when these two pin energizes current flows across so let's test that real quickly so let's let's say I have my current here that my voltage here I have the coil ready to energize with the negative so I'm going to use the test lamp so if I put I have 12 volts flowing here I have 12 volts here on the coil but there's no ground signal so when you turn a, when you when you flip a switch or you push a button or you turn a key on the vehicle you will get this ground signal and then the relay should conduct you should get this lamp should light for example I put a lamp on the negative on the and I'm gonna test the the other contact you see no no power I'm gonna energize the, energize the relay now you can hear the click and look there we can see now now you can see the lamp there's power across the lead I'm gonna switch the relay off again no power I'm gonna energize it again And we have power so that's how we test the four pin relay so guys so much for the four pin relay now I have three different five pin relay so we're gonna go through each one of them so that you can understand the, how they really work how, how I identify the coil and how I go about doing the testing all right so let's take first one this one now Again, we have to identify which one is the coil, which one is will be energized when you turn the key or push the switch or whichever. So we have to look for a resistance. So again, I say, these are the two biggest or toughest pin. So I won't, I won't think of this as a coil. It's one, two, three. It's two of these three. All right, because they're, they're smaller, right? Because the bigger one is what switches the load. So I, likely it has to be bigger. But the coil is very low ampere. So you would find that the pins won't be that tough. So we have three pins in a row. So experience tells me that the two end pin facing one another, the two end one, would be the coil. So let's verify that. And any relay like this you have once it's five pin shape like this and everything does not have a diagram like the two end pins on the on the smaller terminals gonna be 98.5 gonna be the coil now from any one of this to this middle one there's no reading notice but from one of this load there should be a reading to the center there we have it from the end to the middle from this one nothing so what this tells me is that 12 volts is present here at all times whether the vehicle is on or off whether the, the relay is on or off sorry on or off and whenever the relay is off 12 volts flows through this small pin in the middle means that it probably switches on a little lamp a bulb or something a small bulb or small indicator or something but as soon as the relays energize current stops flowing voltage stops flowing to the middle and it starts flowing here now from the big one to the next big one as soon as the relay goes off it's it disconnects the big one in the middle and it gone back to the small one so let's Let's test that theory. The relay is off. The relay is off. The reason why I didn't put this 12, this ground here, if I put it ground here, the relay is going to be on. You know, we call, so this ground depends on a switch. So the test lamp is connected to the ground, let's say the frame of the vehicle, and we're supposed to see 12 volts here. Yeah. So, from this pin, the relay is in off state. Notice 
the key wasn't to run a button, it's not pushed, so this one doesn't have art. So we art the test lamp on the vehicle, and we test the middle, nothing. We test the, this tiny one in the middle now, between the, the coil, you see we have power. So let's push a switch, let's imitate a switch sound. So we ground the relay, uh, the relay grounded, and it's on now. It's on, you hear the click? So there's no more power here, but there's power here now. See? Relay is off, power gone back to this tiny one in the middle. The relay is on, power moves to this pin, and no longer this one. I hope you understand that. Might have to watch this video a couple of times, and hopefully you would understand. I know you will. We have another five volts here, uh, another five pin relay here. So let's let's look at this one. We have two very large pins. One, one, two. I would say that's for load. So what would happen? One of this pin would always got. 12 volts and when the relay is energized the 12 volts will switch to the other one now because there's five pin it means that the 12 volt that is constant of one of these large pins would be on a neck on one of these small pins not the coil right the one other than the coil and and that would be feeding some kind of minor circuit like a lamp a tesla a bulb or something but as soon as the relay is energized, that would be disconnected and move to the bigger pin. So I, I hope I'm getting through to you. So let's find the coil here. So to identify the coil, let's say the relay has no marking. Again, I would say, look, look at it. You would, you would notice two pins facing each other and they're small. So I would say this too is the coil. Then we have a next small one in the middle. I would say this is the one that sends a signal when the relay is off it sends a constant signal somewhere. As soon as the relay engages, the signal is disconnected from that. So let's check for the coil and see if we got it right. So, we're saying this too is a coil. Yeah, look at the multimeter. It's saying 171.7 ohms. So, this too is a coil. Let's see which two is, is connected, which one of the large pin is connected to the small pin in the middle when the relay is off state. So we check for continuity again. So it's this one and this one. But it's easier to find even without the connect, without the tester. All I have to do is apply the, the constant 12 to one of these pins. Let's say this one for example. Let's just troubleshoot. And I got 12 volts on the relay. I got a ground, the relay is in off state. I got a ground connected to the lamp and no 12 volts. So what I do, I move it to the other one. We go again. See, we got 12 volts here. So 12 volts is constant from here to here. All right, now that's the relay is in off. Now let's imitate pushing a switch. The relay is on now, All right? You hear that click. So the voltage signal should move from the middle here now to here, see? So it's no longer on this tiny pin. It's still here. It's not here anymore, but it's here. If the relay goes off, it's not here anymore, it's gone back here. See that? Put the relay on again. It moved from here to here again. No longer here. So that's one type of five, five pin. We have a next five pin here. <coughs> now, this is another type of five pin relay. So again, let's take a closer look at the pins. We got two very big ones. So I would say these two are the load again. We have three facing each other. Like I said, most time, the two outer one would be the coil. The inner one would be the constant signal when the relay is off. So, let's verify that. Testing ohms. So we're checking the two end, little, the two little pins, the end. And yes, 
so four let's say 77 ohms so we know this two is a coil which two is the constant current we take one of the big one and we're gonna check for continuity not that one we take the other big one with the middle yes so voltage flows constantly from this middle to this pin that's regardless this as long as the relay is in the off position when the relay is in off position you will always get current flowing from this pin to the middle when the relay becomes on switched on the current moves from the middle to the other big pin so from this pin to this pin so let's try that so let's test the relay in the off state so this is the 12 volts on the relay So the relay is in off state. My test lead is connected to the ground, let's say the vehicle ground, and we should have 12 volts on this middle pin here. We should have, see that? But we won't have it on this next big pin here. We got it here. That's when the relay is off. So let's switch, push a switch, imitate it, and the relay is in on position now. Okay? So the relay is on. Uh, let me try to get it in such a way that you can see it. So the relay is on. I hope you can see. So there will no longer be a signal on the center pin. If you look carefully, the center pin, no signal, but it's gone to this pin. Right? The big pin. So for this constant, when the relay is off, the signal goes to the middle. But when the relay is on as it is now, the signal transfers to this pin. If the relay is off again, the signal back to the middle. Hope you understand that. So guys, that concludes my way of helping you guys to figure out four pin and five pin relay how to identify the coil and how to figure out which pin is a load and when the relay is in off state which two pin for the five pin is on and when the relay is in on state which two pin for the five pin the relay is on i hope you guys like my video if you find it interesting please give it a like if my video can help someone please share it and if you have comments, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.